the weapons used in that shooting taking center stage tonight. Yeah, it was a handgun transformed into a machine gun by a device called a Glock chip. Now, modifying a gun that way is illegal under federal law, but not Alabama law. And mobile leaders want to change that. Our investigative reporter, Brendan Kirby, joining us with this part of the story. Brendan, there is legislation in the works. Yeah, that's right, Lenise and Byron. Mobile County's incoming district attorney says that he's helping to draft legislation that would crack down on these deadly weapons. <laughs> the New Year's Eve chaos in downtown Mobile left one man dead and nine others wounded. Police say the assailant was using a gun converted with a Glock chip or switch. A man who fired at the gunman also had one of those modified weapons, according to police. A demonstration by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives in May showed how difficult those modified guns are to control and why innocent bystanders are at such high risk. Current Alabama law makes it a crime to alter a weapon, but Mobile County District Attorney-elect Keith Blackwood says that applies to things like rubbing off the serial number or other actions affecting the identification of a gun, not how it functions. He says the Glock switches are so new that state law hasn't had time to catch up. Up until now, federal regulation over uh, fully automatic machine guns uh, has been enough uh, in our mind. But with the, the prevalence of these Glock switches, uh, how we're seeing them flood the market, we just feel like there needs to be a state law solution at this point. Blackwood says he's drafted sample legislation modeled after federal law and a statute in Virginia. He says the Alabama District Attorneys Association also is working on a proposal as part of a larger criminal justice package. State Representative Sam Jones of Mobile says he supports tightening the law. And with this particular piece of material that changes it from semi-automatic to automatic, um, that is extremely dangerous. Uh, the other thing about it is, is that I think that um, we don't know how widely they have been distributed in the community. The U.S. Attorney's Office in Mobile has brought charges in a number of cases involving Glock chips. That includes Trention King, who was charged with shooting two people at a convenience store, Sidney Collins, charged with murder in the shooting death of a 14-year-old on Cheshire Drive in Mobile, and Austin Jones, arrested after a raid of an apartment in June that turned up eight guns, including several with Glock switches. All three men have pleaded guilty to federal firearms violations. Unless the state legislature acts, though, federal court will remain the only venue for prosecuting people with these modified guns. Blackwood says he's confident of widespread support from Mobile area lawmakers. They have been, you know, very, uh, uh, very positive about uh, tougher criminal laws in the past. I don't expect this to be any different. It's unclear whether there's any opposition to this proposal. The next legislative session kicks off in April. Reporting live in Mobile, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.